It's finally game week. You know, I feel like it's been a long time since December, and uh, we've had a lot of work that we've put in since that time, too. You know, you think about all the new scholarship players that we have, um, you know, the winter program, the spring that we, that we went through, and then this summer. Um, our guys have worked extremely hard to come together as a football team, to be a connected football team, to be a disciplined football team, and that's all the things that we've worked on this off season. Um, so we're excited about actually playing somebody else and not not hitting each other and you know getting out on the field and and then you know playing in, in Nippard, man. We you know what a great uh, venue that we get to play in. Um, would encourage everyone to show up and, and show out in this game. It's, it's, such, it's such a tremendous home field advantage for us to be able to play at Nippard and um, you know so I'd encourage everybody to come out if if you're on the fence, come on out and watch watch our team play. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot of new guys that are exciting to watch, you know, and, and also we got a lot of guys back that are exciting to watch. You know, I think about first games from last year to coming into this year, and you think about uh, offensively, I think we had one returning starter last year, you know, and now we got, we're sitting here with our, you know, starting offensive line back, Corey Connor back, you know, um, Xavier back, you know, AT back. So there's, there's a lot of guys back offensively with the addition of some talented players um, that we feel, you know, Soresby, uh, Joe Royer, a um, couple of wide outs, um, you know, upgraded tight end room. That, that, that's going to be nice. No, I still, still don't know. I mean, again, we'll take Dante day, day by day. As you guys know, he's been here all summer working out with the guys and the team, and he's gotten himself in, in you know, great shape. You know, the only thing he hasn't done is the 11 on 11 work, you know. And so, again, that remains to be seen. As soon as our doctors, you know, cut him loose to play, we'll, we'll play him. If Dante can't go at nose guard, is it Burns, Rutherford, or TBD? Yeah, uh, both of those guys. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and yeah, I mean, all three. We'll we'll rotate. You know, I'm sitting here looking looking at the depth chart, man. We got a lot of guys that are that will play up front. But um, but you know, I think Cam Cam has had a really good camp. You know, really good, man. He's you know doesn't always go the right way every time. You know, because he's still learning the system. But but he does a great job of putting pressure uh, in the pocket. Uh, Burns brings a little bit different uh, to me. Burns is a, he's extremely quick up front, and it has caused some problems there um, for our offensive lines at times. Um, Harris Adams is another guy who's a little bit different. He's a bigger guy. I feel like he can plug the gaps and, and really create some push, at, particularly on third yardage, uh, third down, and goal line. You know, so man, we're going to rotate those guys and keep them fresh, and, and hopefully they're making plays. Oh, very important. I I think that'll you know kind of. Whip me into shape. First time I get hit, it'll be be a good little wake up call, and you know that it's really time to go, and that season's here because obviously fall camp's flown by. Um, same with spring ball. You know, obviously season's here, and uh, you know we got to get off to a fast start. We got to start hot, and and just you know find ways to stack plays together, stack drives together, and, and go win a game each week. How much of a difference maker can Joe Royer be? Well, if he wasn't sitting in the room, I'd hype him up a little bit more right now. But uh, well, he told me to ask. No, he's yeah. He told you to ask. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's he's obviously a huge difference maker. You can put it anywhere, and he's gonna go get it for you. He'll make you right majority of the time, obviously. And, and you don't have to be perfect when throwing him the ball, which is really nice. He's a nice big target, and he's gonna be a, a big time player for us this year. Obviously, just one guy that just got here who's been really impressive is Jamoy. He got here over the summer. He's been really good for us. Um, excited to throw to him this year and, and obviously all the other guys that we have, you know. Um, but really just getting out there and just getting game reps will be huge for us going forward. I mean, we're going to have so many guys that get in that wide out that will make big plays for us. So I'm just excited to, to see what they can do. I yeah, hope I've showed uh, the coaches and Brendan that they can trust me if they need me to make a play. And um, when my number's called, be able to do so. But um, yeah, like you said, it's not Elder or Moeller anymore. I'm super excited to play in a packed uh, Nippert Stadium. You know, I played here a couple of times back in high school, but never the real thing. So I'm super excited and looking forward to Saturday. Uh, it was a great honor and really a privilege. Just something, you know, being in college football, just playing sports, you know, something like that coming from your teammates, coming from something that's, you know, voted upon is, you know, just so that I don't take for granted, you know, it's something I feel you have to earn. So, you know, I'm, I'm in one sense proud of myself, but at the same time, I appreciate my teammates for just trusting me, teammates and staff have trusted me since I've been here, trusting me um, and pushing me to lead. You know, I got, a, got a lot of guys back. Um, you know, Wilder right now is still a question mark. 
Um, Buford's back, ready to go. Uh, Milan is is back, still a question mark uh, at O-line wise. Um, who else? Harder's back. He practiced at the end of last week. Um, you know, so we feel like we're getting most all our guys back offensive line wise, which is really a good thing. You know, we kind of been banged up there, so it kind of hurts our scout teams on both sides, O line and D line. Um, you know, and, and you know, we've talked about the D line. It's a couple of guys that are out for the season, which hurts. Um, Corleone's, you know, hadn't been able to go, so I mean, those are three guys right there, potential starters. You know, that that two of them are out, and one of them we still don't know. So, so that's that's why I think D line is kind of the big question mark for us because of you know the lack of, of people that we have there that have played.